Okay, here we are with Snowy, and we have new things that I want to show and talk about. We always have a lot of things at Snowy, and if there's anybody that can, that's created more things for helping you be successful and giving you more opportunities to make money with shaved ice, it's Snowy. No one beats us, no one, no one, no one, no one, guaranteed. So what we have today is a tricycle, and I wanna tell you about the tricycle first. This is a cold plate freezer, it plugs in. Right now, this is a, inside of this is 140 degrees, no, I'm sorry, 40 degrees below zero. So it's, it's really cold, and it's full of shaved ices, and there's 72 in it. You don't want to open that big lid. You'd typically reach in and pull out. So you'd reach in, customer walks up, you pull one out, and you would hand this to the customer. These are pre-made, kind of like an ice cream sickle in a wrapper or a candy bar. So you don't have to, you don't have to communicate with the health department on this. You do have to have a commissary and you have to, in our mind, have a block shaver that can shave it fine enough that it can be frozen. And we've, we've frozen them like this and we've held them for um, as much as a 30 day window and they came out wonderful. So this would hold 72. I'd recommend you sell it for three bucks. You could go different sizes. Smaller you get more, bigger you get less and you hand this to the customer, you let them come over. Um, in here, I just have two flavors, uh, and you'd put them right here. There's a little place that you can stick the sticker. Happen to be two of our new flavors, Zombie Virus and Zombie Antidote. And the labels look like this. And you'd peel them off and stick them on. And um, so then you would just come up and I want to do it in two halves so you can see it. So this is something, your customers love doing this. This is something you'd let them do. They'd flavor that side and then let them flavor this side or just put one flavor on, kind of let them do whatever they want. Make sure you vent the caps. You don't want them getting tight and crushing the bottle. And then right here, I have some spoon straws and I have a napkin for them and you would you would hand them this and let's check it out on a hot day ooh, oh baby oh man that is good if you're hot right now i know you're jealous what else it's a bike you ride it you put the brake on hold a whole bunch of shaped ice it'll be frozen all day all day and if you didn't get to them, it'd be frozen all day tomorrow, too. That's how cold this is. Has an umbrella. Um, has room for the, all this and more. Let's say you were like, oh, my flavors are so hot. They're melting the snow. You could, and we probably will, build a little tray pan with a lid so that you could pour ice in it. So this is all kept cold. And, uh, and with a couple drains, so it'll just run out. But um, you, you can see I flavored that, and it didn't really melt it that much. It helps it, for one. There was some body, and you can see it's smooth. It, it's not like it's a rock. I, I see any pre-made shaved ices I've ever seen. A kid, you couldn't eat them. You, you had to, like, chew on them, like, ah, rah, 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 because you had to, be a, had to chew on them like a dog bone. Whether or not you want to chill your flavors that's up to you I don't think you need to maybe on a hot hot day if you don't keep this in the shade you maybe would but you could you can move the umbrella from here here there and there so um, and then there's some other umbrellas too if you if you want something if you want to spend more money we have a bigger umbrella that tips but we're talking the difference of like fifty dollars to three hundred dollars so this is almost a throwaway umbrella. This is typically the umbrella you'd want to use. So you got to remember this has an onboard freezer. There's a plug here. Uh, we got to show them this. 
Right now, I'm 20 below zero, and it's been unplugged for a long time. Um, I plug it back in, it's going to go to 40 below. One more time, take a peek in here. And if I had the right lids, honestly, these lids are a little bit loose on these cups. I don't have the right lid on the right cup. You could almost lay them in here and just fill it up, fill it up full. So it's got cold plate. It's like it's frozen panels of um, antifreeze. But, and then there's a cord here, you plug it in. It's 110 volts, just plug it in. Plug it in overnight. I would freeze my shaved ice probably the day before and put them in this. So you'd have like a computer cord that would plug in and this would just plug into 110 volts and it's gonna take off and start to freeze it. If you needed to, it's got a little lock. There's a key here, a little compartment. You might wanna check that out. And this, this lock, and you can take and lock this so that um, no one can get in it. This is the most expensive tricycle um, thing we have. Now there's other options like this one. It's uh, like a $3,000 bike with a block freezer that you can buy in a lot of places or you can buy it from us all decaled out and ready to go. It also plugs in to 115 volts and it's just a big box freezer. I don't have anything in this one. Has a drain, it's pretty nice. It can get real cold or you can turn it down and it's not so cold. Um, you don't have to have the basket. You could load, you could, this one will hold about twice as many as that one. If you loaded this up and had it frozen before you went out, you would probably go all day. But if, if you couldn't go all day and you had a chance that you had possibly some power somewhere, you could plug it in. And the, uh, another option is possibly because it's low amps, a uh, 12 volt battery with an inverter might keep this running all day. And then one, this also has umbrella sockets. And but th this is really important that you catch this part here. If you wanted, it, you could just put bags of ice in here and you could mount your freezer or your ice shaver here. So you'd take out your bag of ice. It'd be like typically what everybody does with the shaved ice down. And you'd put your ice in, put your ice back in there. You'd run the shaver. You'd have to have a battery or 115 volts, a battery driven shaver or 115 volts, or possibly the little snowy two would run off of an inverter. So you could do it all off of a battery. And then you would have to have some flavor somewhere. So maybe that's something you carry separate and set over here. We have all kinds of flavor options. Or this becomes a bigger panel and you've got your shaver and you've got your flavors and you've got your ice. Maybe you don't have a shaver and you have pre-made ices. To me, that's brilliant. Then you don't have to tell the health department, I'm here, I'm preparing food, I need a hand washing sink, come beat me up. And, um, otherwise, you do this, you don't even tell them. You show up, you open up the little lid, you pull out the shaved ice, you give it to the customer, you collect three bucks, you let them come put their flavor on, which they love, they think you're a hero, you empty this out, and let's say you could empty that out in a day, which now is um, 740 21 about 220 dollars $10, Now, if these are all gone, you have a good spot, maybe you, in your truck, you have a cold plate freezer that helped you get here to wherever you are, I don't know, and um, you've got more, you got backup. I would have backup, I would figure out backup. Backup's easy, you, you arrange with the store, you find power, you keep it in the van, uh, you do, you figure out lots of ways to have some backup shaved ices or you call it a day and go home and you refreeze them and you do it the next day. Now, we'll go show you how we make them. We'll go show you how we make this part and fill this up, which isn't very hard. So I think now I've probably answered most of the questions. Of course, the tricycle, the beauty of it is 
it's it's a way of moving a lot of things. Um, typically shaved ice, you got to have flavors and ice and a machine. So you've got tables and a flavor station and you've got all this. So you've got at least a couple carts typically or one cart loaded up, which is a little bit hard. This is a little easier. You could roll this in and out of a trailer, uh, roll it in and out of a building, um, roll it down the street. I believe it's narrower than a 36 inch wide door, but it, you know, it just moves like this and um, away you go. So um, when you get ready and you're calling it a day, I'd take the umbrella down and go home, spend your money. So we have, we have one other tricycle that we, um, it's in our, a lot of our literature, there's pictures of it. It is, it could have a box like this put on it that keeps it, plugs in and freezes, but it, it typically in our mind was an insulated, it's like three inches of insulation, fiberglass box that um, mounts on the back and you either do one of two things, you put ice cubes in it and shave them or you fill it full of pre-made ices, but then you have to either put some dry ice or some little cold plate, these things you freeze and they keep things real cold in it. Um, it, it we, we spent money on molds, we thought we were real excited about it, but in a lot of ways I think this is probably a little bit better way to go because you, you've got a compressor freezing it and it gives you more control over it. Nothing's mounting, you just have more control. But we do have that other bike that we build. If uh, somebody's buying one for cupcakes, it will um, keep them cool, like a refrigerator, not a freezer so much. So there's all those options also. The, uh, the other trike that we have that you can see pictures of has a motor on the front wheel and which means it's an electric motor that's going to take you and it charges with its own battery all on its own and i'm like 90 percent sure that any bike tricycle you see here we could put a motor on it which if you had to pedal far and pedal hard which the motor would help you get the job done so uh, you can ask about that and we would have that also Okay, so um, we're gonna make some pre-made shaved ice in a cup, snowies in a cup, and put a dome on them here in our commissary so that they're like pre-packaged popsicles. Uh, we don't have to get the health department involved when we go out on location. So <clears throat> we've got, darn it, lids cups and I'd always recommend the block. The block does shave finer. I would have it be really cold, um, typically more cold than you would expect it to be and you're going to fill the cup up with what you think is enough and squish the dome, the, the cap on it. And we do have, we do believe that there's some better lids that fit better, which we're working on. And then put them in your freezer. And you want to get them back to frozen as fast as you can. So we might even make a form so that when we do this, imagine, imagine this being a hard form that I'm not saying that this is what we'll do but it might be and then we actually compress that shape and then now we've got that shape we'll get our lid and snap on it once we get the shape because you want a little bit of body with these and I'll tell you if you can get them frozen right now and then the syrup goes on them they they are, they're soft, they eat, they eat easy, they, 
the syrup just does magic to them as far as making them good. So then you just load your freezer up and uh, just as, as, as fast as you can go and get it refilled. But at the moment, at the moment, we've just been doing them like this. But um, like I say, this lid does not match that cup perfectly, but it's still a good way. It still gets the job done. And then you'd plug in the freezer, have it plugged in. You can see this freezer's cold. It's got ice on the side of it. <clears throat> Think you got it? I hold the cup back far enough so I can see what's going on here. I don't ever plug the machine nut because I hold it back so that I don't load that up with snow. And then it takes about that much. It's so spongy and squishy from block that um, you'll just squish it down like that. And it's, it's like uh, perfect, but anyway, voila, like magic. Okay. Pretty cool. Pretty good way to do it. Pretty good way to sell shaved ice. I just been kind of show and tell, but if it was me, I would have them put on a pair of gloves. And uh, they'd put on the gloves, make them, get them all filled, throw the gloves away. But I definitely have gloves.